Hi everybody! Welcome to our first narrated video. Here we are removing the scab on this patient's big right toe to make sure that we treat him thoroughly while making sure he's as comfortable as possible. This patient is an athlete who got a really bad ingrown toenail, so we're fixing it up as well as we can. We can see that ingrown toenail has grown out of the left of his big toe and is piercing to the skin, causing all this pus and blood residue to harden. Hence, you can assume he's in a lot of pain even trying to walk, let alone play sports. So, enjoy as you see us deadly remove all this unwanted residue and see the end result of what kind of massive pain causing toenail is hidden under there. If you do experience something like this, please seek help from a podiatrist immediately as this can escalate further from bad to worse. So, what causes an ingrown toenail? Well, actually, a lot of us wear shoes that are too small for us and crowd the toenails. It is suggested from a podiatrist that you should wear shoes that have the spacing of the width of your thumb. Other causes include cutting toenails too short or not straight across, injuring a toenail causing trauma, having very curved toenails, nail infections, or certain medical conditions such as diabetes. A fun fact to prevent ingrown toenails would be to trim your toenails straight across. Don't curve your nails to match the shape of the front of your toe. If you do get a pedicure, ask the person doing it to trim your nails straight across. If you have a condition that causes poor blood flow to the feet and you can't trim your nails, see a podiatrist regularly to have your nails trimmed. Also, a really warm thank you to this patient because he was so tolerant as we were trying to treat him and get that scab out. A lot of people are really scared to visit a podiatrist because the feet are the most sensitive part of the body, but after all, you'd see that there's actually nothing much to worry about. Here, we're going in with a blade to get that smaller ingrown toenail out which is also causing that infection on the right side of his nail as you can see. Oh my goodness, look at the size of that thing. Imagine having that stabbing you each time you move your foot when it only grows bigger by the minute. So after they got the ingrown toenail out, we are just pushing on the flesh a little to check on any pain. If there was any pain, that means that there's still a piece of the ingrown inside and we need to get it out. If not, it would only grow and cause another infection. And now we're going in for the main source of the problem, the big one that is on the left of his toe.
All right, and we are about to get it out. Let's just be a little patient, and there we go. Just watching this, you can finally see how big of an ingrown toenail that is, and that was hidden under all that dead skin, pus, bodily fluid, and blood. So now we're just trimming away all that excess residue to clean his toe up a little bit in case another infection would happen. We're once again pushing on the flesh to check for any other hidden ingrown toenails that might be hidden under there and it needs to be removed ASAP. If you do have the urge to remove an ingrown toenail at home by yourself, please refrain from doing so and visit a podiatrist for at least a consultation because the situation might go from bad to worse. Thank you so much for watching and please leave a like, comment, subscribe and share if you like this video to support us. And do let us know if you like this narration because we might be doing them more in the future. Thank you! Bye!